Hey, you guys. <laughs> Me and my lighting. Anyways, I feel like I haven't been on here in a while. I guess it has been a while, about a week. Or maybe it was just that I was filming seemingly every day. Anyways, I thought I'd get on today. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on... A coconut milk smoothie some coffee in there and one of my Dollar Tree hauls I had um, shown this coconut milk that I bought and I've used it before kind of as a creamer for coffee but I wanted to try it in a, like a blended coffee recipe so something like a frappuccino so I'm gonna do that today and then what else is going on Mm, I mean, there's a lot going on, <laughs> but just snippets here and there. I'm working on a fitness class that I'm going to hold on Friday. Today's Monday. Hopefully, I upload the video today. But anyways, I'm speaking Monday. My fitness class is Friday, so I've just been organizing that as far as the concept and the like, the lesson plan of it and yeah tomorrow i had planned on going to a parade but the train times just they're on holiday schedule and they're not going to get there early enough for me to attend the parade so that's a major downer but i guess i'll just keep working on some other stuff i have plenty to work on and in other news or i should say relative to that um <laughs> Just a just a bit of a tangent. One tangent. One day I come home and guess what I find on my kitchenette table? Can you see this? Difficult Women by Roxanne Gay. I come home and I'm like, what what is this for serious? Boyfriend claims that someone left it in his Uber and he just brought it home for my reading. Why? Why? why i said okay i gave him a hard time about it but i was like whatever okay that that will go in the donation bin because I'm, <laughs> I'm not difficult i'm not a difficult person but um back to like staying on with books and kind of like that fitness class that i'm doing um i thought i'd show just a few books that i um checked out from the library i was supposed to go to the library today i had planned on doing that and I swear, if I don't give myself, like, reminders, I'm forgetting to do stuff. And most of the time, the important stuff gets done, like, the really important stuff. But keyword is most of the time. Like, sometimes, like, going to the library today was actually kind of important. But, okay, so here's a few of the books that I'm using for that class um, that I'm holding on Friday. So this one is Move Without Pain by Martha Peterson and so this is a fitness class again and I'm using like dance related um, dance movement uh, for the fitness class this one is sports Pilates how to prevent and overcome sports injuries and then this one is stretch fit so the main concept of my class is going to be like using technique, proper technique um, for fitness and the whole importance of fundamentals. Um, what else? So like to say using, uh, using your warm up, using stretches, how do you properly stretch, using a cool down, the whole thing. And then, um, like, one of the books that I, that I showed, Move Without Pain, that one actually goes into the whole, um, the whole technique of somatics. And so they actually have this idea, well, maybe stretching in the traditional sense isn't really the best thing. And so anyways, I mean, it just, I can go on and on and on. But yeah, I was just using certain books and research to to build on the concept of my classes, if that makes sense. So anyways, yeah. So I guess this video is part vlog, part 
coffee uh, blended video recipe. Anyways, you guys, I think I'm kind of all over the place. I ate today, so I don't know why I feel like that. But, you know, whatever. I guess I need to eat again. Or I just need a little caffeine kick. Um, I did have a little bit of coffee earlier. And then from what was left over, while it was still warm, I added a little bit of sugar to it. And I've let it cool down so that I can use it now in the coffee blender recipe. Um, what else? I didn't add that much sugar because the coconut milk is pretty sweet from what I remember. So yeah, uh, let's go from there. Let's check out this recipe. All right, you guys, so measurements. I added about a cup of coffee, um, a cup of ice, and then with the coconut milk, I just put in a shot. I mean a shot, like just a, just a bit of it. I didn't put in that much because um, I feel like I already have enough liquid going on here. And so I added just enough, I think, for a little sweetness and, um, you know, like the color. I like kind of a cream. Um, and then, so we're going to see how the consistency works out here. So let's see. Decent. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, you guys. Oh, there's this dog going crazy outside. Okay, so the consistency, eh. It's okay. I mean, it's definitely like a frozen smoothie, right? But then it's kind of... It's kind of separated, so there's parts of it that's liquidy. Mm. So not the best. <laughs> it still tastes. I mean, the coffee is just right. The coconut cream is just right. Um, or I should say the coconut milk. It could stand a little more sugar. I would say that. I added about a tablespoon of sugar to the coffee before it had cooled off earlier. Um, so there's that. I may, <laughs> I may add just a little bit more coconut milk just because I don't have any straws. That would be like awesome right now. I do have a spoon, but so yeah, I guess next time, you know, the one thing that I, that I do know about doing like blended coffees is um like i think it's more common to use a smaller amount of really strong coffee so like in a uh, like a cooled espresso shot would work good um what else i've even seen some people like do frozen coffee ice cubes if that makes sense to you so like they use their ice cube trays and they pour coffee in there and I guess that helps again with the texture of your smoothie um so maybe that would have helped but this is definitely still still passable <laughs> for me I still like it um I might add some sugar I don't know I think what would be even better is if I had like some chocolate syrup excuse me and did some kind of mocha uh, blended coffee that would be tasty. So yeah. Alright, so not a total success, but still very tasty. And it's still, like I said, has that slushy consistency. So it works for me. It is not bad. It's kind of like, kind of reminds me of a root beer float. Like the texture, you know what I mean? Where it has like the ice cream sitting in the, in your root beer. So yeah, I still dig it. It's still cool. 
all right you guys so this video upload may be all over the place but you know i really main focus for me in all my videos is just to get on here and talk to whoever may be out there uh listening and hopefully get feedback from all of you all out there or not necessarily feedback but just what are you guys up to how are you where are you from like just to socialize and yeah that's really it's really the main goal here um as always you guys uh take care be safe and happy independence day happy fourth of july bye